This is our top international story that is making waves across the globe where Western leaders are reacting to reports of Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny's death in prison. As outrage grows across the globe, Antony Blinken has said, and I quote, if these reports bear out to be true, his death in a Russian prison and the fixation and fear of one man only underscores the weakness and rot at the heart of the system that Putin has built. Listen in. Uh, we've uh, heard the reports from Russia of Alexei Navalny's death in prison. For more than a decade, the Russian government, Putin, have persecuted, poisoned, and imprisoned Alexei Navalny. And now, the reports of his death. First and foremost, if these reports are accurate, our hearts go out to his wife, and to his family. Beyond that, his death in a Russian prison and the fixation and fear of one man only underscores the weakness and rot at the heart of the system that Putin has built. Russia is responsible for this. We'll be talking to the many other countries concerned about Alexei Navalny, uh, especially if these reports bear out to be true. Right, and I'm joined by Abhishek Jha on the broadcast. Abhishek, a huge piece of news coming in from Russia. One of the biggest critics of Vladimir Putin now reports emerged that he may have died in prison. Uh, now, these are very shocking reports coming in from uh, Russia as it is also engaged in that offensive uh, with Ukraine. And the outrage is just pouring in from Western leaders. Well, uh, it was obviously uh, expected that if anything happens and that too under such uh, suspicious circumstances, uh, then clearly uh, Russian government and especially the president of Russia, Vladimir Putin, is going to invite a lot of flake from uh, his uh, Western uh, counterparts. And this is what has happened. We have heard uh, Secretary Antony Blinken. We have also comments from NATO Secretary General. Uh, France government, French government has reacted. UK foreign minister has reacted. And all of them have uh, unequivocally criticized Russian uh, government's approach towards freedom uh, and the exercise to uh, express their uh, opinion of any any political leader. Uh, we knew that uh, Navalny was a very fierce critic of Russian President Putin and he was uh, under various Russian law and various uh, criminal conspiracy were uh, alleged against him and he was alleged of money laundering charges from the Russian agencies uh, and the Russian government also. But uh, he has always, he had always said that these charges are motivated by political uh, vendetta by uh, President Putin against him. So, in that context, world leaders' reaction against uh, uh, on, on the issue of Netherlands' death uh, was very obvious. Uh, we also have now his wife addressing Munich Security Conference and uh, we are going to have more reactions coming from there afterwards. Right, but at the same time, uh, Abhishek, when it comes to this entire, you know, uh, this entire firestorm surrounding reports of Alexei's death, uh, when are we likely to get a confirmation at the end of the day? Because uh, many Western leaders are also treading very cautiously, saying, if these reports bear out, we just heard Antony Blinken use those words. So, is there any confirmation that uh, this opposition leader, that the main opposition leader against Vladimir Putin has actually passed away in prison? Well, uh, there have uh, Russian medias, all official medias, uh, and, um, quoting Russian sources, Russian officials. Uh, they have said that he has passed. He was, uh, he had a cardiac arrest, and there was a blockage in 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 his heart, and probably that was the reason why he uh, passed away so suddenly. Uh, there are apparently reports also of the series of things that happened before uh, Navalny's death. How he got an attack. How the ambulances were called, and within seven minutes, full. Uh, medical staff reached there. He was tried. To, uh, they, they tried to uh, resuscitate him, and but he could not be uh, revived. And this is how his cardiac arrest happened. Uh, but these reports, official statements from the Russian government, is yet to come. Uh, official reaction from any senior ministry uh, or uh, minister or President Putin is also yet to come because he was directly challenging President Putin, uh, and he wasn't the most prominent and fierce critic of President Putin. So. We could expect a reaction from the President Putin himself 
but probably it will take some time uh, and that is one of the reason why the western world leaders are still hesitant to call it a clear and confirmed case of death of navalny right and abhishek before i let you go given the fact that Vladimir Putin has eliminated his critics in the past using very old KGB tactics. Uh, that's why there is still suspicion surrounding the circumstances. If it is confirmed that Alexei was killed inside prison, that he died inside prison, given the fact that Putin is infamous for those KGB tactics in uh, getting rid of his critics, that's why that suspicion will continue, which is why the reaction of Western leaders seems justified. Uh, well, uh, Ashman, it's really unfortunate that across the world we have seen so many times opposition leaders being killed or dying in suspicious circumstances, and obviously the the incumbent government or the the, the powerful person who will be uh, in power in that time they would always distort the facts, and probably the world never gets to know what really happened. And uh, this is exactly is happening in the case of Navalny. Also, he was a critic of Russian President Putin, and now he has died. In a Russian prison in far remote area, uh, and the cases and the uh, and the confirmation reports and every detail will be uh, approved by the Russian government, which is now led by uh, President Putin. So, the suspicion will always be shrouding over the mysterious death and the uh, and the suspicious circumstances in which Navalny died, because just 24 years, 24 hours ago, he was seen very healthy and happy and very uh, confident. Uh, while it, during one of the hearing that he was representing himself from a jail in Russia. Right. Thank you, Abhishek, for getting us the latest. So there seems to be an information clampdown at the same time when it comes to the circumstances surrounding uh, Alexei's uh, death. Those reports uh, are still coming in from Russia. But so far, as my colleague Abhishek is pointing out, no official word from the Russian government. But Western leaders are fuming. Let's listen into the reactions coming in. Сьогодні стало відомо, що зараз сказав Олаф, пане канцлер, стало відомо, що в російській тюрмі загинув Олексій Навальний. Очевидно, він убитий Путіним, як і тисячі інших закатованих, замучених через одну цю істоту. Путіну все одно, хто загине, аби тільки він зберіг свої позиції. І саме тому він не має зберегти нічого. Путін все повинен програти. Все повинен втратити і відповідати за скор. Well, Alex Navalny was an incredibly brave fighter against corruption and he gave up everything in campaigning for what he believed in. And my heart goes out to his wife and to his family. And we should be clear about what has happened here. Putin's Russia imprisoned him, trumped up charges against him, poisoned him sent him to a arctic penal colony and now he's tragically died and we should hold putin accountable for this and no one should be in any doubt about the dreadful nature of putin's regime in russia after what has just happened uh, it would be a horrible thing that starvation what uh, lack of care in the prison conditions is that what he died from or do you think it was who is with us today and if confirmed, this would be a further sign of Putin's brutality. Whatever story they tell, let us be clear, Russia is responsible. And we will have more to say on this later.